Hello everyone and welcome to yet another lesson on your O-Level English Language Syllabus. Today, we will learn how and when to use could, may and might. Could, may and might is often confused and speakers of English may find it very difficult to understand when to use it in a sentence. The first thing that you need to understand about its usage is that these three words are used to express possibility or a probability of something taking place. Let's start off our lesson by first listening to some sentences with these three modal verbs. The restaurant may close. The restaurant could close. The restaurant might close. Now, all of these sentences show a probability of it taking place. So, what's the difference? Let's look at this table. The restaurant may close. It is likely that the restaurant will close. The restaurant could close. It is less likely that the restaurant will close. The restaurant might close. There is only a possibility that the restaurant will close but no one is sure about it. Through these three modal verbs, you can show your listener or reader the degree of certainty or uncertainty than if they stress the main verb. In order to understand these three modal verbs, better we must look at the verb can and its usage in sentences. We usually use can to make general statements about what is possible. For example, it can be very warm during this time of the year. You can easily lose your way in the jungle. Both these sentences are general statements that have a very strong possibility of taking place. However, we do not use can to talk about specific events. Supposing someone asks you where your friend Sapna is, you may reply saying, I'm not sure she may or might or could be in the can team. We do not use can even though there is a very strong chance that Sapna is in the can team. Look at the difference between these two sentences. That dog can be dangerous. That dog may, might, could be dangerous. In the first sentence, the dog can be dangerous well, it is a known fact that the dog has been dangerous around people. In the second sentence, the dog may or might could be dangerous shows that nobody really knows whether it has been dangerous before. Let's now look at Unit 9, Revision Point on page 112. We are introduced to the modal verbs will, would, may, might and could. Let's read it together and discuss what has been stated. We can use will, would, may, etc. to say something is possible, impossible and probable. The first modal verb that has been presented is will. What time will he be there? He will be here soon. This shows that the person concerned will most definitely be here soon. It is possible. The next modal verb is would. He would be here now if he wasn't ill. The third modal verb given is may. He may be here now. I'm not sure. As mentioned before, when you use may, it is most likely that he may be here now. But still, it remains a possibility. There are other uses for may. You can use may to give permission. Look at this example. You may go to the library if you like. You can also use may to ask for permission. May I borrow a pen, please? We can also use may to express wishes. May the new year bring you happiness. We can also use may to speculate about past actions. She is late. She may have missed the train. Next, we have might. He might be here now. I'm not sure. There is a possibility that he has arrived, but no one is sure about it. Interestingly, may and might can normally be interchanged without a significant difference in meaning. However, might often expresses a smaller chance of something happening, 
when expressing possibility. For example, look at the difference between it may rain and it might rain. And finally, we have could. Look at the example given in your pupil's book. He could be here now. I'm not sure. It expresses a possibility of him being there, but this is less likely. In order to get an idea of where these verbs fit in the spectrum of certainty, let's look at this diagram. As you can see, the different levels of certainty are presented. Now that we know about the usage of these verbs, let's look at Unit 9, Activity 11. Fill in the blanks using suitable words. May I borrow your pen? I wish I could speak English better. We will come to see you next week. I'm cold here. Would you mind closing the window? Only this time she might have to decide. No one could solve the puzzle. Dinner will be ready at 6 o'clock. I might not have time to do it today. It would be the most difficult decision. Look at that object in the sky. Could it be a UFO? That wasn't too difficult, was it? Like most concepts in English, you may have to use these models regularly when you speak and write. And that brings to an end our lesson. I hope you found it useful and if you want to watch more lessons on your O-Level English Language Syllabus, do subscribe to our channel. Goodbye.